Hello and welcome to Central Key on this day two of the Commonwealth Games here in Glasgow. I'm pleased to say we're joined by Scottish Athletics legend Lee McConnell to look back at what was a fabulous first day for Team Scotland. And Lee, it was dubbed Thunder Thursday and Team Scotland certainly made a big noise, didn't they? They did. They, um, they really delivered yesterday. The judo were fantastic. Um, got two gold medals in the judo, plus another was it two silver, two bronze. Yep. And then in the swimming, Hannah Miley, fantastic. Um, she retained her Commonwealth Games title in the medley and we had a nice surprise in the men's breaststroke in the 200 where Ross Murdoch actually came out top Scott, uh, winning gold medal there with Michael Jimison who was probably the favourite coming in with a silver medal, so a 1-2 there, fantastic. Yeah, I a lot of the attention was on the pool, we were expecting big things, there was a lot of emotion there with the two champions. Um, do you feel Maybe Ross has been overlooked slightly by the people who have been surprised by Michael coming second. I think um, Michael has been built up to have been the number one, and quite rightly so. He's a um, silver medalist from the London Olympics, so you would expect people would expect him to win. But I had heard that Ross Murdoch was really swimming well, and that he was going to be pushing Michael all the way, and he did in that last 50. Ross took over and he just went away from the rest of them. I have to say I did feel for Michael Jimison. He looked absolutely gutted yeah, at the bit. end, um, so my heart went out to him. Yeah, there's a lot of emotion in that pool. It was filling the pool up. I thought it was going to <laughs> overflow at one point. How, how did you feel when you were watching the two on the podium? I thought it was amazing. Um, it was just wonderful to see um, two Scots, you know, three Scots delivering in the pool was just absolutely wonderful. And um, Ross and Michael are back in action today, so it'll be interesting to see if the tables can turn. But today, in the 100 metre breaststroke, there's a bit more competition. Um, there's Australian in there, who's number one in the world at the moment, and we've also got an Englishman, PC, who's going to come into the equation, um, and he's pretty strong as well. Another exciting day ahead in the pool, then. It is. Y you mentioned the Renick sisters in the judo, which was excellent, and let's not forget Eileen McGlynn as well, who put the first medal on the table for Scotland. She's been fantastic again, she? Hasn't she has been fantastic. She's a wonderful athlete, um, and yeah, she delivered a brilliant silver medal. I was absolutely gutted, actually, because it was so close on both races that because um, it's, it's the best out of three yeah. and um, she did lose the first two races and comes away with a silver medal but it was so tight on the line each time that she was coming back at the English um, on that line and I thought she was going to get it especially the first race I was on my feet shout at the TV <laughs> That's what it's all so, about. Um, but she was, she was fantastic, a silver medal and she was absolutely delighted with that so it was great for her. Yeah. What's the highlight of today then looking at the programme ahead? Oh gosh, I think Judo are back in action um, and I think they again will be looking to deliver and yeah, I think I've yeah, heard through the grapevine that they could be looking at another six medals over the course of the next two days. Yeah. Um, again, the pool is going to be great, um, like Michael Jimison, Ross Murdoch back in action. Um, it'd be lovely to get another one too and um, being sentimental as I am, I'd like it but the role reversed. Yeah. It could be again like the um, Seb Cohen, Steve Ovet yep. back in the days when they won the opposite is what they would have thought. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that would certainly be an interesting take on things. Um, the athletics doesn't start for another two days yet, but that, of course, is where you, your heart lies. Um, how do you see that going for Team Scotland? I think you've said in your column today that, that the field stars need to step up to the plate this year. Yeah, I think um, it's been about 20 years now since we won a, a medal in the field. Um, it's all been track medals in the last few Commonwealth Games. Um, the field athletes are ranked high in the Commonwealth, they really are, and I think you know they need to go out there and they need to be PB, and they should be PB in, at the major championships because that's where the peak is, and I'd really like to see a couple of them coming away with a medal. Um, on the track, there's quite a few of them, the guys who are really world class and should be looking to medal as well, but it's exciting, but the pressure's on because the medals have started coming in thick and fast yesterday, and the pressure will be on athletics for them to deliver their medals. What, what's, our, what's Team Scotland's best hopes then on the track? They're targeting three to five medals, um, and I think they're more than capable of doing that. Their, their biggest sort of hope is probably lying on the shoulders of Bailey Child. Um, she's ranked number two, so really she should be looking to deliver a medal. Um, she's going to be going up against Jamaican Cleese Spencer. Cleese has had a fantastic year so far, but she's getting slower, each race by race. But I don't know if she's been putting a heavier phase of training in, right. and that's why she's been slow in the last couple of races. 
Um, but we'll see. I think you know Ailey performed great at the Diamond League that was in Glasgow. Yeah. She really rose to the occasion. She really used the crowd to get behind her. So if she can do that again, then I can't see why she can't come home with a gold medal. Good, good. Let's hope. On a sole note, Mo Farah um, pulled out of the games yesterday, which was a bad start for the games. But um, do you think that's going to have much of a negative effect? I mean, it is a shame he's not going to be there, but I don't think it'll have an effect on the games. Um, people that haven't bought a ticket solely to come and see Mo Farah, you know, there's plenty of athletes in action, plenty of uh, Olympic champions in action. The men's 800, David Judisha, fantastic. He was just recently beaten in a world leading time by Amos from Botswana, so it's going to be a fantastic head to there. Plus, we've got a Scottish guy in that race, Guy mm -hmm. month, and we've also got another couple of Brits in that race, a couple of English guys who are very competitive. And we've got Valerie Adams, I mean, she is just fantastic, the shot putter from New Zealand. She is just, she's dominated in the shot putt over I don't know how many years now, but she is just something else to watch. Well, on that note, we, we wish all athletes the very best of luck, and thanks again for joining us, and thanks again to Lee for joining us for this morning's show, and let's hope it's another cracker in Glasgow today. Thank you.